use the axes shown below to sketch the graph of y equals cos x between 0 and 360. So they've given us a scale. Um, we've got 1 up here, okay, and minus 1 here. So we know cos 0 is 1. Cos 90 is um, 0. Um, I think that's 4 centimetres they've used here to, to down to minus 1. So we go across to... Um, cos 180 is minus 1, cos 270 is 0, and cos 360 is 1. So we're going to draw a cos graph. And this says find all the solutions where cos x is equal to minus 0.616. So remember, we can use our calculator to do cos to the minus 1 of 0 0.616. Okay, negative, sorry. Okay. And if I do that, shift, shift cos to the minus, so cos to the minus 1, so shift cos minus 0 0.616, and that comes out to be 128 degrees. They've said to the nearest degree, so we can just go with that. So negative 0 0.616 is around here, isn't it? Okay, roughly. So we can draw a line across to see what the other solutions are going to be. So we've got this solution here, where it hits the graph there. So that will be our 128, of course. And then we just need to work out what the other solution is. Okay. And of course, because there's a symmetry there with cos, there's a big slide down here. So you're actually going across, aren't you? You're going across here. 128. The slide is the same then from 360. So you're actually going backwards from 360. So the other solution would be 360 minus 128, which is 232. So our solutions are going to be 128, 232 degrees.